Hello. For the past, um, I would say, one and a half years, I've taken cold showers and I actually want to show what cold showers do uh, and uh, the, to get the experience. You know, so uh, I want to show in this video for myself also how long is the cold water on and how long does it take and so on. Um, and uh, maybe you find uh, it interesting to see, well, that's something I want to do, that's something I don't want to do. But I can say I've been using it for one and a half years and it's fantastic. It has a result that is incredible. And uh, I, I just have to note that uh, for all my year, I have taken hot, 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 very hot showers and never used cold water. So I'm actually one of the most extreme hot shower people that there are. And uh, when I started to take cold showers, um, actually uh, my state within the next, well, the months, over the months, improved and it's now amazing. So what I do is I get into the shower and then the, the water will come out here and it's just the, the, the water that stands in the, in the line and uh, in the in the tube and uh, it that hits me right usually i let it go right into the face nose and the face then on the chest then uh, the arms the shoulders then i wash myself um, then i turn around and then it hits the shoulders which is my worst part and that actually is something that still after one and a half years is, is very very hard the hair itself is not, and the, the, the back is bad as well, but the, the hair is nothing. So that is really, that's not a problem at all. And I, I heard a lot of people say that if they use shampoo, uh, because they wash, wash their hair, that, so I switched it off the water now because I want to put shampoo in my hair. Um, so they said uh, that they have to use warm water for the shampoo. And uh, this is, to me, that's one of the most ridiculous things I've heard because I, I'm using shampoo here and no matter whether the water is uh, 10 degrees or 8 degrees, it's the same. It becomes very, very, um, lots of, um, uh, lots of um, bubbles and so on. So that feels really, really good. And the thing is, I, I don't want to, wa uh, to use a lot of uh, um, soap, so I usually wash myself also with the shampoo. Um, not all the time, but uh, for this video now I do that. So I, I actually washed kind of everything, the, the feet, and the, uh, uh, the best parts, and the armpits. And then, uh, uh, you know, now, I don't know, probably that takes half a minute. And then I switch on the water again, the cold water. And I know that the water is cold. It, this, the, in this house, the water, I think, is around 10 degrees. And that is actually not bad. You know, 10 degrees. Uh, so if you go to, like, Switzerland, in winter, you will hit water that is maybe 6 degrees that comes out of the a tube. So that is then really, really hard. And sometimes it's so hard that it actually hurts my head. So it, it really hurts. And then I usually succeed in just withstanding that and maybe, you know, cutting the time that the water hits my head. Um, so this is the first, um, the, the first time. And now all the, um, all the, um, the, the soap is has gone, and I, you know, it, it feels. I have to say, it now feels really comfortable. Uh, so it's not a problem at all. This is cold water, and you know, sometimes I imagine if I would go for a swim in the sea. You know, that's the temperature the sea has. So why should I be such a pussy uh, when, when I stand under the the shower? So uh, if I enjoy swimming in the sea, then I can also enjoy a cold shower. So it's not that bad. And now the second um, second time I put um, uh, I wash my hair. Um, that uh, now the, the body feels completely warm. So there is um, you know there's the, I'm, I'm wet. Um, but the body feels feels warm from inside, 
And what you then, after like half a minute, notice that, that you know that from the swimming pool, that, uh, the, that uh, because the, the water evaporates, that it gets a little bit cold. So I again wash myself, and so th this is this break of maybe another minute or so. Uh, to I, I usually spend enough time, you know, to, to, to kind of wash everything. And then now the second time I, or this is the third time then, I rinse off the soap. And usually, uh, depending on in what house you live, you know, uh, after half a minute or so, that you let the water run, the water actually comes from the big tube in the street, and there it's usually colder. So what happens is, and that's what I notice now as well, the water is now basically getting to below 10 degrees. So this could be around, I don't know, I have to measure that. Um, measure the temperature, but I guess it is now about 9 degrees. Uh, and that is feeling, you know, a little bit cold, but uh, it's, it's kind of refreshing. And here I want to show, uh, give you, a, 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 before the end, a, a, like this trick. Uh, for the first three months that I tried cold showers, what happened was that I, that when I stood under the shower, I actually thought, oh, that is cold, oh, that is cold, and my muscles contracted, especially in the back, you know, and so, so for three months, that is what I noticed afterwards, um, I, I noticed that I have taught my body that this is terrible. So actually, after three months, I, I thought, now my body has um, gotten used to taking cold showers, but that wasn't true. That wasn't true. It actually has uh, worsened. There's still a little bit of soap in my hair, so I have to clean that out. Uh, so after three months, actually the situation was worse. So I, uh, I, I didn't feel comfortable uh, because I had taught my body that this cold water is terrible. So what I did is for, and I'm still doing that now, I. Whenever I go into the shower, I tell myself, okay, now you are in a nice spot, you are on the seaside, you go to the pool and the sun is shining and now the water will arrive at your body and uh, it's a little bit cold in the beginning, but afterwards it will be really fine. And then I take the shower. And after that, you know, then you really, really feel great. You really, and you can appreciate it and um, you, you really, you, I, I think you, you will, I, I think I'm now already after one and a half years a cold shower addict and it adds so much to your life. So what, what I can say is with this investment of several times suffering a little bit, you can actually enhance your life by, I would say the cold shower enhances my life, my well-being by at least 10%. So I think that's a fantastic investment and I hope a lot of you find the way and find your own way into that direction and you'll feel great. You'll feel fantastic. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.